CEO Cheryl Palmer joins us now in a first on CNBC uh, interview. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, uh, Cheryl. Congrats on that incredible number. I mean, what do you think uh, drove it primarily? Well, thanks for having me here today. There's so many things that are going on right now. I mean, obviously, when we think about back in March and it all happened, you know, everyone had to adjust. And after we sent everyone home and really began communicating with our customers in a virtual way, the technology has been enhanced each and every week. And we've seen um, just this tremendous um, result week over week since, you know, really early April. And then as we reported today, June of 94% year over year. You know, what's really happening, Wilford, is we're communicating with the customers the way they want to be. And so they get to decide, you know, do they want to do this entire sales process virtually? Um, do they want to come in for an appointment? Do they want some sort of hybrid? So it's really the flexibility that it's giving our our customers and home buyers. But, but I presume uh, this uh, extraordinary number is much more uh, down to, to lower mortgage rates and uh, lack of uh, broad amount of uh, supply than it is the virtual nature of, of, of the apps that you offer, which perhaps enabled it, but, but aren't the driving factor. Oh, absolutely. There's, like I said, so many things going on. If you think about interest rates at historic lows, you think about where we were prior to the pandemic. I mean, we had so many tailwinds working with us. When I think about the demographics and the boomers and the millennials really needing to buy, um, inventories were tight back in February, March. They've only gotten tighter since then. And I think the other couple of dynamics that have been really working in our favor is there's a bias to new. I really believe, you know, when I look at the research that our teams have been doing over the last 12, 14 weeks, um, people are quoting that they want new, fresh, a place where wellness features really will make sense for them. The number one reason we're seeing from both buyers, shoppers, folks that are coming through the internet or in our doors is they need better technology. Um, and that might be because one or both parents may be at home. It might be because their kids are staying home from school. They need more rooms. Um, they need office space. They need bigger rooms. And then, you know, most recently, we're really seeing a pickup on folks that I'll say want more rural or suburban locations. Um, initially, there was a lot of talk about that, but it's really coming through our buyers today. Key question, I guess, Cheryl, is whether that momentum can continue, especially as, as in exposure of states that are seeing rising case numbers and rollbacks of some of their reopenings. What have you seen since the numbers? Yeah, really good question, Sarah. We have seen, you know, if you think about the states that I think have gotten, you know, the most airtime with the rise in cases, that would be Arizona, Texas, Florida, California. That's where we're seeing some of our strongest sales. Now, interestingly enough, we might be seeing a reduction in foot traffic, but we're seeing a tremendous increase in web traffic. And in really every way that we measure it, it doesn't matter if it's you know, making these, like I said, virtual appointments. I mean, we introduced this new technology to the industry back in early April. We've had over 8,000 online appointments done in the last three months. So, you know, the, the interesting thing is they're, they're finding a different way to communicate with us. And, you know, it's about time. As an industry, we, um, I call this the COVID silver lining that it's really allowed our industry to catch up and make sure that we're communicating with customers. I think the last thing to your point, Sarah, is through all of this um, and through the tracking that we're able to do on the web, there's a tremendous correlation to future sales, especially our newest technology that we introduced last week, which is online reservations, where people can come online and actually put a 24-hour home on an inventory house. Cheryl, thank you for joining us with some color around those numbers. Keep us posted. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.